Hi everyone! Welcome back. Welcome to hashtag time for art. This is our monthly Friday night hop sponsored by Maridel Abrams from the Mary Atier. So we are working on master boards and I think I've been making master boards for a long time. I just didn't call them master boards. I call them one of a kind paper, serendipity paper, I don't know. Anyway, so I've decided since we're using up things or using things we haven't used in a while, I'm going to use an atlas page as a substrate and going to work with some painting papers I have in my stash. I'm using Mod Podge. And, you know, I'm not the craziest about Mod Podge, at least for where I live. But as you guys know, I'm moving, so I'm trying to use up my stash. So I've um, just decided that today I'm just going to make some a master board that maybe I'll use for AT, an ATC background or um, I don't know. I haven't quite decided yet. I've, I've used them in the past for embellishments, you know, cutting out flowers or hearts or whatever I'm going to do for like a jur junk journal embellishment. Used it for pockets, belly bands, tuck spots. You know, there's no, your imagination's your limit. You could use it for anything you wanted. I've even made some and used them for journal covers. What's cool about making a master board is that you can then take it and, you know, scan it and even Photoshop on top of it or use it over and over again in your artwork. So I'm using a bunch of painting papers, and I think these are painting magazine pages um, that I've had in my stash for a while. And I've torn them up. You don't have to do it. You know, you could use a drop paper for your master board, or, you know, it doesn't have to be collaged. You could do a, a bunch of watercolors for your master board. It's up to you. You know, there's no rules. So, as you guys know, I'm in the throes of moving. And everything in my life right now seems like it's a little bit up in the air. Or I should say fluid and changing all the time. So, the reason I can't be with you live tonight is I am working. So, someone called me not that long ago, a dear friend that I had worked with in the past and offered me a temporary job and said she would have rather have me for a few months or as long as I'm here than have anyone else so I kind of said you know what that's really helpful for me at this moment <laughs> I can keep my get my mind off of this moving and yeah if for those of you that don't know I live on an island and so you know I'm not taking much with me the one thing I'm really finding hard uh, in letting go of is my craft supplies you know, I have n I, clothes I've let go of, furniture I've let go of, dishes, pots and pans, anything like that. That's easy. But when it comes down to like, th especially the handmade supplies that others have given me or that I have myself or made myself, I'm finding it a little hard to let it go. So, you know, you don't need to do it with heavy glue. You could actually do it with a glue stick if you wanted to. I just, I know that once I move, I'm not going to take this Mod Podge with me. And it's, I still have a lot of it. It just doesn't work great here in the tropics or in a humid area. It, it just never quite dries. It stays a little tacky. So if you mail it to someone, sometimes it sticks onto itself or something like that. You know what I really love about creating your own one-of-a-kind master board or one-of-a-kind paper or whatever you want to call it? Um, you could take this and use it in anything you wanted to, and it's yours, singularly yours. And even if we both have the same supplies, mine would look different than yours. You know, I've taken these before and used them, the backgrounds for birthday cards 
for ATCs, greeting cards. I, I've used them in so many different ways. I've even scanned them and then photoshopped drawings on top of the backgrounds and then used those as printables. I hope you guys are all doing well. And then I hope that you're all staying healthy. I know for all of us here in Hawaii, we we're doing our best just trying to stay active and social distance and wear a mask and you know all the things that I'm sure all the rest of you are doing too and thank you guys for all of you who've been sending me just lovely encouraging notes in regards to moving and the crazy weather we've had here we've had torrential rains for the past few days and flooding in some areas and high winds but just know that I'm safe where I live, I live kind of in the central part of the island, so, you know, my island, Maui, has 23 microclimates, so the joke is if you don't like the weather, drive five minutes. <laughs> so I decided I'm going to make a second master board using Asian book pages, and I have a lot of them, and I love them. So I'm using, I think it's a modern Buddhism magazine in Japanese as the substrate and that's sort of a thin paper and then I'm using all different types of Japanese book pages on top well I think most of it's Japanese I don't know really honestly what I love about it is they're all different hues of beige and and you know weathered and aged and I love it some of them are really 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 thin like rice paper and others are you know thicker and it's really nice now I'm not too worried about the thinness of it because I've decided that I am going to whatever I end up doing with this master board I'm going to I think glue it on to either some cardstock or something heavier so that I can cut things out with it and I've sort of decided I'm not going to, you know, you could go back over and paint on it and stamp on it. And I've decided I'm not going to because I think I may, um, you know, put it back in my stash. And then if I have a themed journal I'm making, then I may go back in and stamp something on top. So I'm just going to really use it as like a base. You know, some of these books I've collected over the years... The pages are so brittle, but this is the perfect, perfect, perfect choice for brittle book pages. And I love the different hues of beiges and browns. You know, I was thinking, I've been meaning to make a, a nature journal, so I'm thinking maybe I'll use these master boards and make some sort of embellishments and then maybe add an overlay of, you know, florals or something stamped on tissue or painted on rice paper and, and put it over like an overlay to add the botanical aspect and use these as the base. I have certainly missed sitting down and crafting between packing and preparing to move and my new part my new full-time temporary job <laughs> it's been a lot I miss hanging out with all you guys and I especially enjoy these these live stream hops and I'm so grateful to Mary you guys head on over to her channel, the Mary Atia, and show her some love. She definitely puts a lot of love and energy into our and uh, into our live stream hops. So I end up making two master boards, 
And you know, these are super simple ones. You could make it more elaborate, draw, color paint on top, stamp, add different textures. But like I said, I'm going to use mine for future projects. Well, I decided in the end to make tags. So that is what I did. Here are what I've done. I, I did put some product packaging on the back. And I think they came out pretty cool. And I'm thinking about adding the nature overlay or like here's some tissue paper that has some stamped birds on it. I may put some of that down or I don't know. I haven't quite decided. Or maybe I'll stamp. But I think they came out just great. So, you know, your imagination is your limit. You can do anything you want. It's your master board. Did add a few pieces of sari silk on the top. Maybe I'll just send them as happy mail. Who knows? So see, you can make this with just what you have right there. And mine was a product packaging bag. Box. Well, I'm ending this video with a little short, with a bunch of photographs that I've taken of the island I live on. I hope you guys enjoy it. And it, it looks like from the photographs that I've uploaded on here, they're mostly sunsets because we do have some spectacular sunsets here. I want to give a big shout out to Maridel Abrams and all the ladies that are in this hop. And if you go to the description box below and follow the link, you can join Lori. She is the next up in the hop. Paint girly. She's an amazing painter. So these are all photographs of my island. Well, from the island I live on looking out. That's the top of the Haleakala crater just a couple of weeks ago when it snowed. Just thought I'd give you a little taste of what I do and love. It's pretty spectacular. I won't lie. Oh, these are poinsettias. Oh, I have a picture of a, I want you to see it. It's so great. Look at that tree. It's a tree of poinsettias. Same ones that you get when you, for the holidays. See, spectacular colors in the sunset and rainbows. <laughs> Pink poinsettias, yep. And another beautiful sunset. I think the colors are just amazing. Thank you guys for joining me and for your love and your support. It means the world to me. I hope you guys all get to come to Hawaii one day and find your own magical pictures of magical sunsets because they are spectacular here. It's rainbow eucalyptus, one of my favorite trees. Well, thanks for joining me. And as always, from my heart to your heart, I'm sending you so much aloha.